Do you know why 7 is considered a lucky number? For three reasons. Number 1. There's so many lists of 7. There are the 7 wonders of the world, the 7 dwarfs, 7 days in a week, 7 continents, and 7 brides, or 7 brothers, 7 colors in the rainbow, there are 7 swans of swimming, 7 notes on a musical scale, 7 deadly sins. I said kuch zyada nahi ho gayi. The list goes on. Number 2. The real reason people love 7 is the same reason we love rock music. Salman Khan or Ice Cream Sandwich. Seven is a stone cold rebel and follows no rules but its own. Here's a math trivia that would give nerd a literal boner. Seven is the only number among those we can count on our hands, basically between one and ten, that cannot be divided or multiplied within this group. One, two, three, four, and five can each be doubled to reach two, four, six, and ten. Nine is divisible by three. Seven is the only number between two and ten that is neither a multiple nor a factor of the other. In this way, lucky number seven stands alone. It's unique, a loner, the outsider. And humans interpret this arithmetical property in cultural ways. Number three, there is a strong connection between the number seven and many religions around the globe. In the Bible, scholars claim that God created the world in six days and used the seventh day to rest. Because of this, the number seven is used to illustrate the idea of completeness throughout the Bible. In both Islam and Judaism, there are seven heavens, there are seven higher worlds and seven underworlds in Hinduism. In the marriage, there are seven feras or saptapadi. In Buddhism, the newborn Buddha takes seven steps. So there you have it. If your favorite number is seven, you have a soft spot for the rebels, the individuals, and so does everyone else. Two.